This might be the best game I have ever played. Hi, I'm Mad Morph, and this is my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. And no, you don't need to have seen or played the previous ones to enjoy this. This playthrough is going to feel like going through a D&D campaign with me. We're going to create a character, build our party, and journey through one of the best stories in gaming history. Hit like and subscribe, and let me know in a comment if you'd like to see more. If you want to skip me making my character and going through the companions and the different classes you can choose from and giving my thoughts on it all, then you can skip to about the 20 minute mark. I'll put chapters below to help you. If you're new here, I also have a podcast where I read books to help you fall asleep. It's called Down to Sleep and it's on YouTube, Spotify and everywhere you get podcasts. You can find all of the links for me and that below the video. Let's begin Baldur's Gate 3. Smash. Sorry, I thought that was how we played these games. Is that not? Okay, sorry. Create your. Who are you? Hi, I'm Morph. Um, create your character. Origin characters. So these are created characters that you can choose from. That exist and have their own stories to go through. Now, the temptation with an RPG, right, is to make your own character. You want to be your own person. You want to tell your own story sometimes. But having played. Larian's previous games, like in Divinity 2, the experience that you get by playing one of their origin characters, they have their own stories and quests and voices and things that make sense throughout it. And you actually kind of miss out by playing your own character. At least that was my experience with Divinity 2. So I think we're actually going to pick one of these for our first run. And I would make my own character if I was playing it on the side or doing a second playthrough um, would kind of be the thing. Because you've got members of your party as well, different people to play as. But honestly, the stories are so good for the pre-created characters. Like, really, really good that it makes sense to um, experience them. So let's see. We have Asterion. After 200 years serving a cruel master, the vampire spawn Asterion, he's a vampire, is finally free. Free to walk in the sun, to chase power, and to take revenge. Play introduction. Whoa. Whoa. We get little intro videos for each one. This is amazing. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Don't be shy. I promise not to bite until we've been formally introduced. Hmm. My name's Astarian, and I've spent a century stalking the night, hunting for pretty morsels just like you. Wow. A man called Cazador made me what I am, kept me like a pet, forced me to do his bidding. No more. It's how I flirt, to be honest. The Tapel's influence broke his dominance over me, and now... I can finally pursue the one thing I've hungered for these long, dark years. Revenge. I'm going back to Baldur's Gate to track Cazador down in his lair. 
I'll be the last thing the bastard ever sees. <laughs> okay, we like a vampire. We like a revenge storyline. I'm liking Asterion. I wonder if we can customize them after we pick them, if we pick an origin character. That would be cool if we could, like, change them slightly, but I'm not sure. What can you do with custom? You just pick your race and stuff. I also know that, I mean, you get them as companions, so if you want to make your own created character, you can and have and play through their stories with them as companions with you. Uh, Lazelle was, do you know what, we'll just play the video. Have our, what is she, an orc? Since I was born in the cold reaches of wild space, I have known but one purpose. To wield a silver sword and ride a red dragon in service of my regent, the Githyanki Queen Vlakith. My first step on this path is to slay a mind flayer and bring its head to my queen. There is no flesh I will not carve, and no barrier I will not shatter to see it done. I am the one who sunders. I am the Undying Queen's most unshakable warrior. I am Lazelle of Kalir. Okay. Uh, race, Githyanki. Oh yeah, it's like their own different races, isn't it? A ruthlessness born from Mind Flayer enslavement. Githyanki ride the Astral Sea atop red dragons, bringing their silver swords and psionic might to bear against any trace of the Ilthrid menace. Wow. She must deal with the world she doesn't understand, find a way to serve her people in a plane that despises her militant kin. Okay, we have Gale. Gale's wizarding prowess once earned him the love of Mistra, the goddess of Oh no, that's a little love story. Let them tell it. Well met, stranger. You find yourself in the presence of the renowned wizarding prodigy, Gale of Waterdeep. Please, no need to be intimidated. That was him. My virtuosic talents once caught the eye of the goddess of magic herself. Mistra, oh. who named me her chosen and her lover. Thanks to a slight miscalculation on my part, that relationship eventually soured, as did the greatest of my powers. Now I'm merely a humble wizard on the road to redemption. Why do I recognize Unless this voice? I can find the path to something great. I feel like he's in Dragon Age. favorite games or maybe they, maybe they use the same people from divinity i've played divinity twice from start to finish um shadow heart she's cute my name is shadow heart hello loyal servant of shah goddess of darkness and loss there is little more I can tell you than that. I mean, some, some, My some might say that's enough. My tasked me with a mission of such secrecy that I surrendered great swathes of my memory in order to safeguard the knowledge of it. All I know is that I must bring mm. the artifact I hold to Baldur's Gate and that nothing can stand in my way. My goddess is watching. And she looks like a gothic stress toy. The artifact, not her, although I'm sure that could work. Shadowheart willingly undertook a ritual to remove her memories in order to protect the secrets of her fellow Shah worshippers. Loss and pain are sacred to her, but her faith is being tested like never before. Okay. Will. What you got, Will? Seven years ago, I was exiled from Baldur's Gate, the city I call home. My name is Will, but the people of the Sword Coast call me the Blade of Frontiers, champion of the meek, defender of the innocent. The truth isn't quite so simple, but they're right about one thing. I hunt monsters, and I always catch my prey. My latest target is a devil, and I'm right on her tail. Once I'm through with her, she'll never escape the fires of the first hell. Hmm. 
Interesting. I'm still loving Asterion's story the most, I think. Oh, who is this? Is this the devil who he's on the tail of? Now listen, I'm just- I'm trying to look at the tail, okay? I promise. That's why I'm turning you around. I mean, god. Damn. <clears throat> what you got? Ten years ago, I was sold to the Archdevil Zariel. She put a hellfire engine in my chest and made me her prized soldier. I've escaped now. Thank you, Mind Flayers. And I've got a few scores to settle. If this engine doesn't burn me to ash first, I'll need people I can trust. An infernal mechanic and a serious amount of luck. But you know what? I'm not worried. After ten years in the Hells, I can take on anything. I've got my chance at freedom, and believe me, I'm going home. She looks so cool, like the burning effect that like is across her skin. Ah, the graphics are gorgeous in this. You're a tiefling. Descended from the devils of the nine hells, they face constant suspicion in Fair Fun. Fair Fair Run. Fair Run. <clears throat> <laughs> Thankfully, their arcane abilities make them natural survivors. I mean, strap in if you like me mispronouncing things, because I already feel like <laughs> any fantasy is like, they they went on the road to phenomena, you know, so. The Dark Urge. You remember nothing but a path paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? Your appearance and class can be fully customized. They've created an origin character for you, which you do yourself? With a full story? Because that's awesome. My rancid blood whispers to me. Kill, kill, and kill again. I know the feeling, dude. What? My ruined body yearns to reap death in this world. And when this foul urge calls, it possesses my whole being. Injured, beyond repair. I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. Mm. I must discover who I was and what happened to me. Before my twitching knife hand, Writes a tragedy in blood. Okay. Okay. Mystery, mystery. Mr. Mysterious. I like it. So that's fully customizable. We can... That's... We can play through that story as anything we like. Maybe that is the... Kind of way to play it, right? Is to be the Dark Urge. This kind of mysterious nameless. And then we take the others as companions to experience their story. Definitely picking up Asterion. Probably Shadowheart. Lazel. Karlak. You're coming with me. Um, so maybe now what we'll do is we create a character to be the Dark Urge, I think. And we'll go from there and have the others as companions with us. Yes, I like that. That is the plan. Okay. So races. We have Elf. We have Tiefling, Drow, Human, Githyanki, Dwarf, Half-Elf, Halfling, <laughs> Hello, Gnome, Dragonborn, or Half-Orc. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? I'm going to have to sit and have a think. I'm just going to show you these, and then I'm going to sit and I'm going to think for a long time, and then I'll show you what I've come up with. So we have Barbarian. Let me not have it be an orc here. Let's look at human. Barbarian. Bard. The Drip. Cleric. Druid. Oh yeah, you can turn into animals, right? I do like playing a druid. Fighter. A monk. They're like um, the martial arts class in D&D. Rather than being all, you know, um, uh, Paladin. That's a nice outfit. A ranger. Do like a ranger. Do like a bit of ranged bow work. A rogue. Don't really play rogues often. They're cool, but not for me. 
Sorcerer, always fun to have spells, isn't it? A warlock. And a wizard. Doctor Strange vibes. It's going to be a hard pick, I'm not going to lie. I'll probably look at what the characters I want to take with me are, and I'll like mix it up in that fashion. Favoured enemy. So you can have a favoured enemy you do extra damage to. Natural Explorer. Years of travelling in the wild made you particularly attuned to beasts or adept at surviving certain environments. Background. The Haunted One. A wicked moment, person, or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. You carry it wherever your adventure takes you. Or perhaps it carries you. So those are probably things you would pick. Perks that you would pick for yourself. A bounty hunter. Mmm, Daddy Mando. And abilities and changing stat points. And editing appearance. But of course, and creating our character. I really take my time with character creation. I'm not going to make you sit through all of that. So that I'm just going to quickly have a little look through. And... Um, where to next? Different voices to choose from, scars, and then I'll sit for like an hour and I'll make my character, and then we'll jump in. Maturity, our oh, age. I don't know why I thought that was like a. I was like, what's about to happen if I turn that toggle up? Because there were so many warnings at the beginning about nudity in this. Freckles. Bit of Lego. Oh, that's interesting. We got body art. Oh, gotta love a face painted wizard, really. Um, tattoo color, piercing, eyes, ah, uh, heterochromoma mia, always, eye makeup, yeah, gotta, gotta love a smoky eye, hair, a lot of, so many hairstyles, oh my gosh, wonderful, and facial hair, how's the facial hair look, pretty good, pretty good, Facial hair is so hard to get right in RPG character creators. It usually looks so bad that I leave it off, but that actually looks pretty good. Doesn't it? Looks fantastic. All oh, these graphics. You know what we could do? Just randomize. And see what types of different people come out. <laughs> That's a bard for sure. That's a bard right there. Hello, what hell? We're going on an adventure. Oh, you're a saucy little vampire, aren't you? Who's this devil? Mmm. Oh, bloody hell. He's <laughs> happened here, mate. Crikey. Oh, he's escaped from somewhere. Oh, amazing. It's fancying the purple hair a little bit, isn't it? See, these all look crazy and zany, and then we're going to come back with what I've created, and it's going to be something a little bit kind of standard. I'll try to make something interesting. The thing is, is if you're going to have to look at it for like an 80-hour playthrough, you don't really want to... Make it something you get sick of, a bit like if you get a tattoo, you know, you're stuck with it, right? Some big options here. So, ah, body type. That's what I was, I was like, hang on, I'm changing the identity, but it's not doing the body type. So let's see what these are, like, randomized as well for the ladies. There we go. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Might make a lady, to be honest with you. Not fully decided yet. I do like um, making lady characters when I play RPGs. The clothes look better. They're just more fun to play as, to be honest with you. Clothes look better. Feels cooler. Just feel like, on the whole, in character creators, guy characters come off feeling like generic McGenericson, you know? Hello, we all look the same, and we sound the same, and do-do-do. It's cute. Oh, I like this. Already more interesting. All, all of those guy ones I flicked through, I was like, nah, none of them. I just flicked twice, and I'm like, oh yeah, these are characters I could totally play. You know? Anyway, let me uh, get deep into this, then we'll come back. All right, my gosh. This is so in-depth, the way that you can change the characters. And all of the different races have different looks to them, and there's little subclasses that completely change how they look. But I think I've settled on a druid. I was going to go perhaps with a ranger, perhaps with some sort of sorcerer or warlock to kind of complement my party. 
And so Shadowheart is a half elf, Asterion is an elf, and Karlak is whatever she is, tiefling. Um, so then I was like, should I go human? Because otherwise it's a lot of elf action, you know? It's elf on elf action going on. But I just love how this elf preset looks with the face and the ears and this hair. It looks really good. Looks really good. I was going to um, kind of make like a spooky, spooky girl, you know, like black hair and everything, which is kind of where this look is from. But the strawberry blonde just looks so good. Once I decided on druid, you know, the, uh, if I show you here, like, the black wasn't as good on the green, but this strawberry blonde is, like, so fine. So, we're gonna go with that. So with my strawberry blonde hair and my slightly pink highlights and my interesting droid get up, let's get into it. The name. Morphe. Works for both genders, I think. More fat, a little more fat there. Um, let's go. You need a guardian. I do. Oh, I need a guardian. What's that mean? Some sort of god or something? What should I design them as? Oh dear, I'll be right back. And here is my guardian. There we go. Lovely little goblin. A gnome, technically, but to me, he's my little goblin. A sagobo, a small hello, hello. Beautiful. Let's do it. I can't even tell you how long I was in that character creator. Over an hour. That's all I'll say. Screen. Dude, how scared would you be? Like, what if aliens actually show up here and it's just that? Might be the coolest opening to anything ever.
rescue attempt for her, because they're the dragon riders, right? I didn't even want to talk over it. I was just stunned the whole, t the whole way through, just like, wow. That was incredible. Give me a whole movie like that. Gotta get back into reading some fantasy books. God, I look pretty, even covered in blood. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull, besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Okay. Um... Love the narration in these games. Divinity 2 has such a good narrator as well that, like, reads stuff all the way through. It's amazing. Um, say your name aloud. You have a part of yourself. The Dark Urge. Whatever that is, that is you. You will claw back the truth. But first, you have to claw your way out of here. Okay. My head. I am the Dark Urge. Let us begin. Journal update. Escape the Nautiloid. Someone else got out. Sounds proper London. Someone else got out, innit? Oi, someone else got out. Oi! This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Oh. Investigate. Skill checks. Some dialogue options require a skill check, a dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character's skill adds a bonus to this roll. Difficulty class, 10. So I need to roll a 10 or higher, is that what we're saying? Fail. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. What an idiot. <laughs> Reach towards the pool. Stick your hand in there without thinking anything. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, dummy. Best be on my way. Alright. So, where are we going? Over this way, I guess. Better not be cursed. The door is called the Sphincter? Ah, oh, man. That's disgusting. Something. A goblin. I want a goblin. I want it to be a goblin, but I don't let you play as a goblin, eh? What's the... Who is? Who's talking? Go up there and see. Help us. Hello? What's up for discussion? Place. From this place, you'll free us. 
The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. So we'll see. Before they return. They return. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Hmm. You're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Destroy the brain. Leave. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Investigate. Inspect the exposed brain. Because investigation went so well for us last time. Je Dexterity gently pries the brain from the skull. Let's investigate first. Another 10. So I have to hit 10. Oh man. Oh. 13. Minus 1 because I'm a dummy, but it's okay. Success. You notice edema. A swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Grim. Break the skull. Prize the brain from the skull. Attempt a cerebral extraction, staying mindful of the swelling. With medicine. I am the medicine. So I've got to get ten, but I get two dice. Because I am proficient in the meds. I mean, absolutely nailed it. from the skull. Foul. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist meat to shreds. Oh. Imagine a brain full of holes, a brain like your own. Spare the creature, any injury might weaken it. Um, oh, I shall spare you. I may very well regret that, I think. This is already so hard. Decisions in RPGs that you know are going to come back to bite you later. I'll spare it. It's just, it's what I would do, I think. It's fine. The worm. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Oh, uh, it's a little baby brown. <laughs> I got a little baby brain pet. I helped you once, that's all I can do. What's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Should I call you? Us. We are us. We are us. Amazon Prime this autumn. The new romance. Um, attack the brain. Nah, come on, little bud. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. You're mine. You're a follower now. Some allies may temporarily join you. You can directly control the movement and actions. Click a follower's portrait to take control of them. Sweet. Pet brain. What's this? Oh. Oh, it's a lift up to our... Oh, okay. Sure. Was there anything else around here that we... Needed? Any loot or anything? Ah! Hello? Hello? Lost condition? What just happened? Did you just get hurt? Oh, there's like dragons out there. Dude, go down. Look at this thing. We're flying. Wow. That's so cool.
as the half orc or orc. I'm not sure what she is actually. I'm gonna call her an orc, even though she's a gift ring in the ninging or whatever. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head. What is this? Skvar. You are no thrall. Blacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. What makes you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. We'll be gay? I mean, we need to figure out where we are. We can do nothing until we escape. Me and you? That must be our priority. <laughs> First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Why do I feel like at some point we'll take that wor the worms out and then my little brain buddy is going to turn on me? Ump, ump, ump. Um, get ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds. Each participant gets a turn to act. The game pauses during combat. You have time to plan your action. Well, it is time to learn how to play, isn't it? I have claws as a little brain. Good brain. Who's a good brain? You are. Yes, you are. No choice but to keep going. Right. We have. What do I have? Spells. I can heal. I have my poison spray. Animal friendship because I am a friend to the animals. Jump, hide, throw. Main hand attack, fire bolt. Nice. Time to strike. Let's get you in there, shall we? Not enough movement. Well, let's get you in front. My path be true. Protect my brain. Come on, can't stay idle. Where can I get to here? I wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, there was one behind. <gasps> Get off my brain. Brain's so powerful. Survival is all that matters. Use shillelagh. Can't touch me. Another day, another fight. Good job, team. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. Okay, but first we loot, darling. We must loot everything. I am a pack rat. I am a whore. Duh. There we go. Moving in. Now we can go. Which way is it? This way. I knew that. Not sure my character's voice suits me. It sounded so much lighter in uh, the creator. I may need to change it. We need to get out before it's too late. It's a little too noble. It's a little too thick for uh, my little waif of a druid here. Hopefully we can change it somewhere. Right. Back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Take it easy. I've flown one of these before. Energy radiates from the prisoners, but 
They do not react. It's just the squishy button on the right is the one we want. Oh. Okay. I, uh... <clears throat> Oops. Maybe it's the middle one. in here what's happening you uh, shadow heart we have no time for stragglers but she's pretty look for a latch the construction is too alien nothing looks familiar this ship is crashing do you intend to die for a stranger I can't free I'll look around try that contraption next to the pod they did something to it when they sealed me in Hurry! Please! Okay, settle down, settle down. Something next to it. Rescue this. It's a mysterious liquid. Come on! Get me out of this thing! Stay calm, I'll find a way to get this open. Keep looking! Perhaps this. The console appears dormant. Look for a switch. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Hit it. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Okay. Something. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. Let's see. Need the key. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. Odd. Not now. We must go to the helm. Okay. Gotta help our friend first. We must save Shadowheart. Something goes in there. Backpack. Onyx. Maybe we go forward and the get something. And then put something in. Maybe we come back. I like there's actually nothing in here. The backpack is empty. Bodies are empty. Maybe if the helm is that way, what's in this room? Let's take a look. Has to put my hands on everything. Another little brain. You are beautiful. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> How many hosts of these gay and faced woman is trapped inside the pod? She doesn't notice you. What have we got here? Place hand on console. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh. I I should really stop pushing buttons. Maybe maybe our friend was right. I should just stop. of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. We we'll finally have tentacles. It cannot be our fate. Another brain. Death thrall. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. Ah, well, perfect. Hello, little brain. Flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Okay. All the loot. Oh, there's a key for the reliquary, maybe. Reliquary. Reliquary. Why are the brains so cute? 
Alright, I got you. I'm coming. The console appears dormant. Insert. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain? Or transform her like that other unfortunate? Take a closer look. Oh, a one. <laughs> Critical failure. Nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. It could even transform the occupant of the pod, like what happened before. Well, only one way to find out. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades. And another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Wisdom. Will the pod to open. Crit success. As you feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. And yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Sorry about spilling that liquid there. If I knew you were going to flop into it, I would have... Thought I was done for. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gith with you. Ooh. You keep dangerous company. You guys don't get on, huh? You got a problem? More that gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Did you feel what I felt just before we were in each other's heads? I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. I don't but know. that'll have to wait. Could have been love Are at first sight. Are we going to help each other or not? Um. Sh yes. Let's go. Shadowheart. One moment. Don't forget your little stress toy. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. I will lead. Look at look at us. Hey, look at us. Who would have thought? Just three bad bitches in a brain. You know? Come on. Oh, this way. <laughs> the brain's clearly not in my head, right girls? Alrighty. Let's go through the sphincter now. To the helm. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. Alrighty. Ladies, ladies, please. Let's not fight. Let's go in. Squid dude? I'm with the squid dude, apparently. Okay, a hell bore. Now, does this mean I... I... Catch my breath. Can I use animal friendship on that, I wonder? I'm ready. Alright, Shadowheart, you're up. My little cleric. 
what do you have? Healing word, inflict wounds, guidance, blessing of the trickster, disguise self, charm person, charm a humanoid to prevent from attacking you, sacred flame, resistance, guiding bolt, shield of faith. Next attack roll against this target has advantage. Firebolt, concussive smash. God, I love the way they prepare the spells like that. Well, let's do guiding bolt on... Do you know what? Actually, we don't need to. Let's save spells and stuff. Let's just actually fight our way through these. I feel like we're going to need them for big boy over here. 150 HP. Um, so let's try and finish them off. Nice and easy together. It's one. Enough movement. Let's just get you close to it if we can and end your turn. Think you can take me on? But Shillelagh should have done it before I hit you. It's fine. Miss. And they have 10 HP, I feel so weak. Um, do you not know just hit a bolt over there? Save you running all the way over there and dealing with it. Good job, team! I guess we're meant to run past this guy and do as we were told to get to the old tendrilays, you know? Trying to get up here One day I'll catch a break. to the button, right? In the meantime, topple, swipe a creature, knock it prone. I don't think I can reach him. Twenty percent. Oh, critical hit though. Your attack was resisted. The entity took half damage. Nice. Doing it. Concentrate. Okay. Shield of faith on our friend here. Not fully sure why we're keeping them alive, but I am death. It's fine. Pommel strike, daze them. Swing and a miss. doing it. brain. Dash. Couple more distance this turn. Ah, so if I want to get quick, I can do that. Come with me, team. Leave those two to do it. I love that they, like, say the spell. That's awesome. Jump up and down across. Your strength affects how far you can jump. Dash. I want you to get right up On there. The move. My warrior. Mm. 
shove, yep. Get there, can you? So throw another firebolt and see if you can't. Good job. Got to move. I will ascend. Nice team. Did you? Is he dead? Oh, I thought it said a zero. Oh my god, the mind flayer is it? Four health. Get that console now. Dash. Better not be cursed. Do it. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. so far. Divinity is... Divinity 2 is legit one of my favourite games of all time. This may end up rivaling it. I get really into these RPGs once I get going, like Disco Elysium as well is absolutely amazing. And the old Fallouts, which are isometric, 1 and 2 are probably my favourite games up there of all time too, so... Very, very eager to get into this one. Do be sure to hit like and leave a comment if you want me to do more of this one as well. Uh, just helps let me know that you enjoy it, because this is very different. We haven't done an RPG on, on the actual YouTube channel since Disco Elysium, I don't think, so... <laughs> Got more than you bargained for tonight through your little telescope. The weather balloon, guys. Goblin, 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 goblin. Oh. expected your memories to return once you were free of the mind flayer ship but your past is still an aching void mm. if you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon your future will be as blank as your past your head whispers vengeance 
You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Journal updated. Find a cure. And we landed, crash landed, on the ravaged beach. We've escaped the Nautiloid. Anything of use? Drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke Gross. on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty. But something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. Honestly, so much of... Listen, so much of Larian's games comes across as a little bit saucy. Like, there is really some dialogues in Divinity 2 and stuff where it's just... You knew what you were doing when you were writing that dialogue, you know? Like, it gets kind of out there, honestly, so... Strap in. Let the grin fall across your face. Intelligence, try to remember the last time you stood above a corpse. Remember. Nice. Okay. As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. I'm evil. It's my villain arc. It's about time. Reach for the artifact or wake her. I'll just wake her because that's obviously very important to her and I want to earn her trust. She'll tell me when she's ready. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. What happened to our gith friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Hmm. Do you know where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Alright. You want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Well, let's get moving then. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I got you, babe. All right. Onward, across the beach. Strewn with tentacles. Hold left alt to see what you can interact with around the way. Where's my brain? Is that my brain friend? Surely it's not my actual the brain that I saved, right? I'm sure he's okay. It's okay somewhere. Surely. Suicide. Get the pouch. I will be looting everything. I will be exploring. It's a mangled fisher. Oh, literally a person that's been mangled. <laughs> he had a fish in his pocket. Don't worry, there. Murgrass. There's lots of these brains about the place, so perhaps... Oh, it's the ancient sigil. Well, oh, it's like a waypoint for fast traveling. Gotcha. You get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Ah, you think? Here we go. 
More of those wretched things. Oh, little brains. They like me though. Right? Wrong. Positioning is important. Ranged attacks from above are more likely to hit. Ranged attacks from below hit less often. <sighs> scary, 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 scary brain, brain, brain. I do love turn-based combat. It's probably my favorite combat back. system as well. That strike could be lethal. Taking the disengage action lets you leave an enemy's melee range without taking opportunity attacks. Right. Because one of the strikes from this thing is lethal, you're saying. Disengage would be that. Okay. Well. Let's shillelagh it up. And make sure we don't take any damage, shall we? Level up. Protect. Nothing will stand in my way. Okay. You missed. Oh. A little help, please. That hurt. How much damage does that do? Two to sixteen. Uh I got you, babe. Heal wounds, right? Heal a creature you can see, heal a creature you can touch. Oh, I can't reach you. Well, healing work. Not sure it'll keep you alive, but then try. Critical miss. Hmm. Well. Charm person, disguise self, blessing of the trickster, sacred flame, one to eight damage. Inflict wounds. It's gonna keep you alive. So I think these spells, as I use them, I can't then use them again until I do a long rest, I think. Animal friendship, convince the beast not to attack. Let me try this. I don't want to get you in the friendly fire, though. <laughs> Survival isn't such a distant prospect. That's so fun. End of the day. Replenishable resources are dwindling. Take a long rest and restore hit points and other resources. Open the rest when you initiate long rest. Level up. Go to the level up screen. What's in here? What's in here? Um. So level up. Let's see what this is like. Choice is pending. Subclass, Wild Shape. Ah. Oh. So I pick. Circle of the Land. Druids of the Circle connect to powerful magic that flows through the earth and binds all living things together. And this is one with Wild Shape to turn into a wolf, a badger, a spider, a cat. Circle of the Moon. Druid sworn to the moon drawn its mercurial nature to transform into massive creatures and its primal elementals. Ah, hang on. So the action there is natural recovery. Replenish expended spell slots while out of combat. That's pretty powerful. Circle of the moon, though, is a wild shape to turn into a bear. Now, it feels illegal for me to play this game and not be a druid and turn into a bear. It just is. Circle of spores. Viewing death, necrosis, fungal growth, and sporulation as just another part of life. Manipulate spores and augment yourself and harm your foes. Mushroom powers for the vegans. Um, I mean, I have to do Circle of the Moon. It's just... It's the law. It's the law of Bear Island. There's no other way. Tis no other way. Mm. we have for our cleric. Level up the cleric. Health increased. <clears throat> Prepare spells. So I can change these, can I? You have inflict wounds, which seemed very powerful. Guiding bolt seems good. Shield of faith. Cure wounds and healing words. So you're also a healer, that's the thing. And I have heals. So maybe I'll switch my spells out. And if I'm going to be turning into a bear, you can stay as a healer. 
and I won't do so much healing. I'm not going to mess with you too much here. But I still have those healing spells, so I'll switch those out at some point, I guess. Can I do that now? Spell book. Okay. So instead of healing a creature I can touch, I'm going to let you do that. I've got a fairy fire, charm person, animal friendship I have equipped. Create, destroy water, entangle, slow creatures down, speak with animals. I mean, come on. Ice knife. Oh, I already had that equipped, I think. Okay. Um, good berry. Conjure four magical berries into yours or your companion's inventory. I think entangle. I'm probably going to end up going ranged. I know I'm hitting things with my shillelagh at the moment, but I think ranged is probably going to very well be the way to go, honestly. Let's have a look. A chest. <clears throat> Oil of some kind. Alright, let's see if we can't find our gith friend. Looting all the things. That's locked. Who's this? Is this that companion? Very well. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Kill it yourself, you look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Quickly roll away. Push yourself to your feet. Quickly roll. I am half-elf, after all. Yeah. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you? and those tentacled freaks do to me. Uh, you have it backwards. They snatched me up too. I'm not an idiot. I saw... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? We're connected, baby. The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Lucky for you, you didn't try. Um. Can't blame you. I was looking forward to seeing yours. <laughs> A kindred spirit. Seems so. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Um, tell him of your crash, your worm, and your ruined brain. My, my. You've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Uh, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time control it. We need to get rid of it. You should travel with me. Our rods are better together. I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. Travel with me. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd 
isn't such a bad idea. Not a hurt. And anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. Hmm. Perfect. I just drank a uh, Snapple. Kiwi and strawberry. It's very nice. Oh, let's see what the fact is on the lid. Like fingerprints, everyone's tongue print is different. And uh, we'll be examining as many tongue prints as we can through this game with all of our companions and such. Right. <laughs> it's good. It's a, a thirsty playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. You have a manner of irresistible desperation about you. All right, man. Don't I judge like me. It. Oh, okay. It's like you it's like you see in me. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. All right. All right, you two, follow me. Looping back around. There, a mind flare, and it's hurt. Where? Oh, there. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. I haven't saved yet. Let me do that. Shave. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Give in to the emotion. The poor creature is on the brink of death, but there's still time. You'd give your life to save it, to nurse it back to health. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Concentrate on its thoughts. Ah, oh, man, so dumb, so dumb. You try to break through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. You gained a point of inspiration. Death is too good for it. Oh, what's happening here? When a character performs an action that's true to their background, they gain experience points and receive inspiration. Inspiration may be spent to re-roll an ability check. You can have a maximum of four inspiration. If you're at your maximum inspiration, completing background goals only grants experience. So I am the haunted one. A wicked moment, person or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind. Fresh kindle to the fire for leaving the pinned Benrin to burn. I mean, I stomped on its head. Um, so you're a soldier. An acolyte in service to the temple, providing sacrifice to the gods or gods you worship. Trained in battlefield tactics and combat. And Asterian is a charlatan. An expert in manipulation. Prone to exaggeration. More than happy to profit from it. Bending the truth. Turning allies against each other will lead to greater success down the road. Well, he's a sneaky boy. Onward, gang. It's up here. Oh, what happened? Well, I stepped in fire. Made me jump. Mm -hmm. Should have used jump, I guess, to avoid a shovel. Wish I had a bag of holding. It'd be important. Something up ahead. What's someone buried here, huh? Use the shovel. There you go. 
Oh, what's happened here to my camera? Uh, the hell? Reset. Ah, what? It's gone all strange and top down. Save. Let me load and see if that helps. Arrows can be useful in more than just a fight. Shoot a hinge. You can throw healing potions at allies from a distance if hurt. Okay. There we go. One day I'll catch a break. Oh, hang on. There's someone on a map here. Shadowheart, what are you? You afraid of fire, girl? Jump over it. Time for Danny. At least things have stayed interesting. Um, Asterion, why do you run like that? Can't slow down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Oh man, creep. Should heal. Take care of you. And you should heal too. My face protects me. Take care of you. Let's move. Time to press ahead. Oh, yeah, it said about resting. Hang on. Um, where is the rest? Had like a toggle group, hide, party view, the rest, camp and resting menu. Okay. Short rest, long rest. Let's do a long rest. Go to camp and end the day. Since it did say to do that on the tutorial. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Ah. So there will be some sort of way to... Hey, look at my little nighttime outfit. Working it. Eventually, I'll be able to change bits of my character here and uh, soften my voice up a little bit, I think. So, we're <clears> resting <throat> here. Um, turning in for the night. Well, Swan, you've never slept in the woods before. What's the matter? Never taken a shortcut? It's all a little new to me, I admit. Want me to hold the your hand? normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Um, the right herbs can make a soothing tea if you can't settle in. Ah, uh, no. Tea isn't really my drink. I'll be awake a while anyway. I need some time to think things through to process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. Um, we'll both stay up. I'm not ready to turn my back on a stranger. You know, <laughs> disapprove. You spend time with me. You only have to say so. But suit yourself. I'm sure we'll drift off at some point. Don't disapprove. I was just trying. It's banter. I'm being playful with you, Starion. Come on. Oh. What are you two talking about? <clears throat> Hello. Uh, what do you mean? We were just discussing the next steps. I see. I'd be careful with Astarian. Be careful with you. Uh, I wasn't confiding in anyone, I was just talking. If anyone has me concerned, it's you. I don't want to cause any trouble yet. So am I. If we're to survive, we need to trust each other. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. All right. Agreed. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. Rest well. 
Traveler's Chest. <gasps> Mask of the Shapeshifter. That's from Divinity. Periwinkle Undergarments. What? Is this some sort of, like, reward for having Divinity or something? <laughs> Where did I get that from? Can I put this underwear on? Can I put this on? Periwinkle Undergarments. Wait, instead of... What do I have? Just normal underwear? Hang on. <gasps> um, Put something on, dear. There you go. Goodness me. Well. There <laughs> I Hang on. Oh, um, sure. Some loafers. Can I put those on my feet? Apparently not. Can I wear this instead? Ah, there you go. <laughs> Look like you're ready for the circus or something. Homely clothes. Open this. Cape of the Red Prince. The Red Prince from um, Divinity. I love this. This is so cute. Loot of the Merryweather Bard. Bicorn of the Sea Beast. Needle of the Outlaw Rogue. I wonder if this is the loot of um, the cat. God, I played her as well. It began with an L, her name. In uh, Divinity 2. That was my character. Bewilding, bewilder, peculiar clothing chest. Another one. Oh no, that's the same chest. Okay, hang on. Bring this down here. Bewildering Adventurer Pack. Fritz Haggis Poutine Stout Stew Mixed Coffee. Some potions. Potion of Flying and Animal Speaking. Goodness. The Mask of the Shapeshifter. So this thing lets you um, shapeshift, or at least it did in Divinity. Hang on. How do I... Where did it put the spell? So if I put that on, I should be able to do it? Or is it just like an easter egg? Can I not actually do it somehow? Oh, shapeshift. Yeah, look. So I can... Situational actions. You've unlocked as an action the result of another ability feature or condition. It remains at the side. Yeah, so you can, like, change whilst wearing that helmet. So if we need to sneak into somewhere, hang on. We can, um, <laughs> we can shape shift as we want to. Hey, baby. How's it going, Astarian? Oh, um, <laughs> who are you? How did you? I've been watching you from the woods, darling. Come on. And then... <laughs> Look at me. And how do you... Dispel Disguise. Surprise! It's just me, looking amazing. As ever. Should put my clothes back on. There we go. Okay, so that's now empty. <laughs> so many things. The hat isn't appearing though. Maybe I have it set to not have um, show helmet. Because that's usually a thing, right? What would that be? Somewhere in here, probably. Some sort of toggle. Show helmet. Hide helmet. Show helmet. Why am I putting the hat on my head? I don't understand. It's not showing up, though, is it? Okay, I have that on, but nothing. I like how I can just see everything that's in my inventory here. So if I go to clothing, druid leather armor, I can see all the stuff I've looted. And if I want to, I can switch to that. 
So this is my camp outfit, I suppose. What you wear around camp. And... I mean, that's a nice outfit, honestly. I can wear Shadowheart's outfit. Apparently. I mean, I look pretty good in it. But if I wear your outfit, what do you wear? Ah, oh, we swapped, and then you wear mine. <laughs> Cute. I won't deprive you of that outfit. Oh, and that's if I put Astarians on. So what are you wearing when I put your clothes on? Oh. <laughs> Just the trunks. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll wear um, my homely clothes. There you go. Wait, Astarion, can you um, get dressed? How do I... My dagger happy friend. Dress you. What troubles you? You. You trouble me. Keep a blade close. Put on uh, Shadowheart's clothes. There you go. Those look pretty good on you. I'm not gonna lie, Starion. But um, I think that's the one for you, honestly. You've got to level up too. Level two rogue. Cool. Work to do. Oh, sorry, darling. We should um, put your clothes on. And there you go. Okay. Right. I have a lot on my mind. Yeah, me too. And well, in it. So let's camp. Full rest. Ah, now I have my hat on. Wait, what are you wearing? Hang on, what's happening here? Shadowheart. I wonder what the next move is. Why, why are you wearing that? What are you wearing, darling? Those aren't your clothes. You're wearing, like, my clothes. You're wearing the druid's leather armor. Oh, uh, because I put on the other one. White armor. The chain shirt is yours, right. There we go. Leave camp when ready and get back to your adventure. Will do. Ah, the circlet's yours, I see. Don't touch me. Sorry? And let me dress you. But you don't want to wear... Ah, okay. Wonderful. I'm going to get give you that, I think. You look great. <laughs> that one. You look like you're in some sort of, you know, street Shakespeare play. That's what's happening here. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou? Romeo... Ah, there you go. That's what the shapeshifter mask looks like. I love Divinity. I have the collector's book. And I have the vinyl as well. Um, let's stick that in your head for the time being. Alright. And what am I wearing? Is that blood? No, never mind. I look pretty cute with that on, I'm not gonna lie. That's not, though. But my hair's too good for that. Ready. All right, leave camp. Onward. Wait, maybe I can talk to you again and get some more points. I want to have a word. What do you need now? No. Okay, no more points to get. Let's leave. Probably going to obsess over this like I did with Dragon Age, where I just want to do all the companion quests as well. Give them gifts and level them up and stuff, I think. Get all their stories out, especially because I know they're going to be so good in this game. <clears throat> right. Where is our friend? That's the real question. It's over here. Look at that view. It's 
discovered a waypoint. Now, if I want to, I can fast travel back down, but we'll carry on. Hearing voices. I think so. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! <clears throat> that pack of goblins will be on us any second! Yeah, goblin, goblin. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Nine hells! Open the gates! The warlock. Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Nice. We're joining in the fight. I'll bleed every last one of you. Look at that thing. little bow. Guessing you can't get them from here. Let's have you dash. Let's get into the fight a little bit quicker. <clears throat> Dude, he runs so weird. Cracks me up. And then, uh, wait. Bicycle and sword. Strike them down! Ah, sickle and sword. Oh, Starion. Seems you've attracted some attention. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm so sorry, Starion. I shouldn't have run you in there like that. This camera is not great when it's just autoing around in combat, honestly. Okay. If a member of your adventuring party reaches zero hit points, they're down. It's a state between life and death. They roll each turn to survive. On three successful rolls, they become stable. On three failures, they die. Okay. Downed characters get back up if they regain hit points. Allies can help them by healing them. Okay. Let's move up a little bit. It's hoping to get better odds, but... Miss. <clears throat> Can I hit you with a healing word? Got you, baby. Let's finish this. Oh, the hell! Just, just we slipped in mud. Sound effects quite loud. Turn down. <laughs> Critical miss. All right, Asterion, what have you got? Not enough resources. Not enough action. I guess because you just got back up. Use the little healing potion. I'm guessing you can't disengage without taking a damage. Well, I didn't see the disengage button, so I was hoping you'd be able to get out of there, but I guess not. 
<clears throat> oh dear, here he comes again. <laughs> okay. Whoa! combat a little bit. <clears throat> Divinity 2 when I first started it was so hard. I was getting my butt kicked. But as you learn your spells and what works and the utility of it all gets much easier. Right. Well, it's time to wild shape it up, I think. Hello, little goblin. Still want to play? what I thought. I'm a bar. I'm a big bar. I love that it's like a sort of white grizzly, it looks like. It's not like a polar, but it is white, and it's like, it looks very cool. <clears throat> Stay focused. How can you get up here? Because she is uh, a bit annoying. It looks like it's like a good couple of turns to get around there, but someone's got to deal with this archer. Should you be able to jump up there? Oh my god, Shadowheart, please. <laughs> what, what shoes do you have on, darling? We need to get you something with some grip. She's not having a good time. Rolling around in the mud. Okay. What do I have? High dash, goading, roar, jump. Can I jump up there? <clears throat> oh, sorry. Camera is just crazy in this terrain. Oh my god, I love being a bear, don't you? On my way. You know, you can turn into a bear by subscribing. That's how you join Bear Island. Hit the like and subscribe, and it just happens. You just transition into one. Alright, well, I'll take care of what's going on up there. You, uh, help our friend. Don't slip, okay? It's grease. Everywhere. Hit him again. There you go. Right, can we do something now? You don't have enough action because you just got up again. So why don't you just Let's have a little fun. hide so you don't die? How about that? Those are some cool spells. They feel impactful, <laughs> violent. They sort of remind me of like Harry Potter spells. We're getting there, no thanks to us, but... Miss. How's this guy doing? He's got pretty good health, actually. Dip. Dip a weapon into a surface and... Oh, wow, that's cool. Um, push him. <laughs> that's fun. Another fight. Let's go. Munch him. That's how we do. Luna Mend. Regain hit points while in wild shape. Expend spell spot slots. Dismiss wild shape. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Did the right thing, picking druid. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Does my feet can carry me. That's cool. 
Come on, guys, inside. Oh, wait. Loot. Hang on. Um. Do you mind? Some inventory stuff. Open up. I like to spend forever looking through my inventory in these games, so whenever I go to a town and I do some shopping or selling, I'll probably, um, like, cut that stuff out of the video, because I will literally sit there staring at my inventory for a good while. Certain actions are frowned upon. Like what? Looting bodies or something? Like, it's a dead goblin. Um... <clears throat> So I'll probably just cut that out of the video because I find it kind of therapeutic, honestly, just sitting and rearranging my inventory and thinking about what stuff to buy and sell. So why was all this grease here? I think they must have like thrown it at us. Anyway, inside. Hello, it's us, the heroes of the day. Thank you. We did so much in that fight, you know. Couldn't have done it without us. You, there are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Uh, druid. Those goblins didn't take prisoners. We lost him back at the ruins. Old place is crawling with gobos. Uh, go he trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. And when things got tough, he couldn't keep up. Simple as that. My God, you're a coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Gobber, Gobber, Gobber. I played a character called Gobbo. Um, take a swing at the tiefling, aim a blow at the human, intimidate. If you want me to take you both down, I will. Knock it off. Persuasion. I did put points in charisma, so I'm going to go persuasion. Fifteen? I get a plus two, but that is still a hefty ask, isn't it? I can use guidance cantrip for bonus. I get one D4 on top. Okay. Oh my days. Crit failure. Oh, forget it. Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. He said open the gate, man. You put him in a bind showing up like that, he did try to open the gate. Exactly. Let him speak. You knocked him out cold instead. You no, know, he tried to open the gate for you. I saw that. Too little. Too late. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. With the same vigor he had for that teeth for once. Man, you crazy. Hey, tiefling, you good? You alright, bro? Mm, regression. A cheap shot. I should have expected that. You're right. I'll survive a sore jaw. Particularly if it's rid the grove of Aradin. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Why? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Hmm. I need a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsins a renowned healer. 
but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. Okay. This ritual. Any way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. <sighs> what are you offering? We'd owe you a great debt. What little we have, we'll scrape together. It isn't coin we need. It's time. I'll do what I can. Really? We're messengers now. Starion. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Astarian, I am a helper, okay? I'm a people pleaser. Good with the program. I feel like we should have found the uh, Githnak already. She must be out here somewhere. I'll probably fast travel back out and search for her. Um, let's see what's happening in the grove, though. Looks like it's a little sort of. This is about your precious borders gate. I Settlement. care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back, right now. Can I help? Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Persuasion. All stay. A single blade could make a difference. Get out while you can. The goblins will be back. Say nothing. I mean, try another persuasion check. I'm not doing great with these yet, but I only need 10 for this one. Oof. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Nice. Oh, my... until Roland shows off his oh it was Guidance, I see. So I cast that cantrip to give myself a bonus. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? I lower my prices for fellow druids, <clears throat> but you'll need nice. to be quick. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. Mm. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Oh, let me take a look. Ooh, dies. Gloves of missile snaring. Intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage, just catching them out of the air. Some clothes. Love clothes. Ring of flinging. Throwing boost. Pumpkin. Some lockpicks, I would assume, somewhere. Fire arrows, potions, scrolls for spells, trap disarming, thieves tools. A dragon egg mushroom. Supply pack, okay. I will uh, sell some of this stuff. 
Let's uh, let me go through this stuff that I have and empty my inventory a bit. Okay, trading done. And I realized, look, I can put on the uh, cape this of the red no prince fault. that was in my pocket. That's cool. This place seems remarkably tense for a sacred grove. Perhaps we shouldn't linger. But let's at least see if there's a healer to be found, first of all. I like how we're covered in uh, mud, you know? My memories are gone. Is your tadpole playing tricks on yours? I understand why you ask, but memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. Okay. What's the story with that little odd, odd artifact of yours? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. I yearn to kill. I only feel like myself when I'm killing. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that out loud. Uh, see what happens? Interesting. You're hardly alone. Bloodletting is quite popular of late. Though your twinge of conscience sets you apart from the brigands, monsters, and kill happy fiends of the world. Whatever you think may be compelling you, you may have greater ability to resist it than you realize. Everyone has unseemly thoughts. Being able to quieten them is what sets us apart from the beasts. That's a very fair answer. What do you think of all this? We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? Um... How am I holding up? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Oh, well, you know, anytime you feel like it. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. What will you do? If you manage to remove the tadpole. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Hmm. No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Family. Friend. Lover. Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. Okay. Uh, we should get to know each other a little more, don't you think? Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? I live my life by it, but... We have to rely on each other. Easier if we knew each other as well. Easy is often less interesting. Oh. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. You're deflecting. You're hiding something from me. Maybe I'd like to get to know you better. How about that? Sweet of you. But don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. I can respect that. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Staria? Well, this seems like a lovely little spot. The sense of impending doom aside. Okay. No conversations to be had with Staria. Let's move on. I have something to ask. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Okay. Swing, swing, Children. Oh. Uh. Right. Uh. Go for the heart. Cute. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Children! This is boring! We should train against real goblins! Ah, oh, Will. <laughs> Go on. 
Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. Ah, stupid. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Can I have a word? This whelp is hopeless. You're wasting your time. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Yes, we both carry the parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Hmm. Who is she? Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected That's the other companion we can get. Her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Okay. I'm looking to cure this infection. Let's partner up. <laughs> I like your thinking. Besides, I watched you fight at the gate. I could use an ally like you. I did turn into Ready a pretty big bear, didn't I? Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade... Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Oh my. <laughs> this is going to be a fun journey. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's joined us. Nice. He's got to level up Sharp too. As ever. <laughs> this is so good so far. Gain the spell. Learn a spell. Burning hands. Each flammable target hit with 3 to 18 fire damage. Charm person. Command a creature to flee or move closer. Freeze. Drop to the ground or drop its weapons. Mmm. Expeditious retreat. Gain dash immediately as a bonus action. Hellish rebuke. React to your next attacker with flames that deal 2 to 20 fire damage. That's good. Hex. Make your attacks deal an additional 1 to 6 necrotic damage. Protection from evil and good. Protect an ally against the attacks and powers of aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. Witch Bolt. Link yourself to the target with a bolt of lightning. Deal an additional 1 to 12 lightning damage each turn by activating it. I feel like this enchantment spell to be able to command someone to flee, move closer, freeze, drop to the ground, or drop its weapon um, could be very useful in like a non-combat situation as well, potentially. Okay, choose some eldritch invocations. Invocations. It's your study of occult love. Law, sorry. <laughs> I'm leaning back from the screen. You have unearthed eldritch invocations, fragments of forbidden knowledge that imbue you with an abiding magical prowess. Agonizing blast. 
cast uh, whenever you cast Eldritch Blast, add your Charisma modifier to the damage it deals. Armor of Shadows. Cast Mage Armor on yourself without expelling a spell slot. That could be good. Beast Speech. You can speak with animals. Cast Speak with animals at will. Beguiling Influence. Passive. Invoke your patron's bewitching charm. Gain proficiency in deception and persuasion. See normally in darkness, magical and non-magical. Cast false life on yourself. Cast disguise self at will. Learn how to cast one with shadows. Uh, when you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, push the creature up to 4.5 meters away from you. Once per long rest, cast Bane using a Warlock spell slot. Targets up to three creatures, receiving a 1d4 penalty, attack rolls, and saving throws. The Thief of the Five Fates. Hmm. Let's go Armor of Shadows, I think, as a protective. And let's go with the Repelling Blast that pushes them back. Will is interesting to me, but I'm definitely more interested in the other characters if it becomes about him or the devil girl. Like, come on. <laughs> come on, bro. What do you want me to do? Um, let's carry on. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Soak the battlefield with blood. Do not resist death, but embrace it. Bad news, children. You're all going to die. <laughs> so, whilst laughing as well, in character. All right, be strong. Watch over your kin. In trust, there is victory. Although, they're just children. Why are you teaching them to fight? It's that, or teach them to beg for their lives. The goblins will chase us to Baldur's Gate, and these kids know it. A warrior like you could lift their spirits. Hmm. I'll lift their spirits by wiping out that whole camp of goblins myself. <laughs> Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Cute. Need to find Remember, you need to and Stand again. Who's this? Swing, step, parry. Strike! Damn it! It's just not landing. Uh, interesting technique. Having trouble? Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood. And the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Um, read his thoughts. Nice roll. He was only a boy. And I just... just froze while the wall tore his head clean off. Never again. Mm -mm. Clear your mind. Past mistakes don't matter. Focus on the present. The target. You're right. I, I need to clear my head. And step, parry, step, step, swing. Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. One last thing. Don't shout out your moves like that. Spoils the surprise for your foe. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Keep training. Hopefully it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, honestly, these little side conversations being as good as they are, the writing, not that I'm surprised, but I'm so excited. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. 
Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Hmm. Shoot. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Mm -mm. Even just the way they bring the camera in so you see the character and they deliver the line like that, rather than just another game would probably pop up a little text box. Not that I would mind reading it, but it's just, it's really grumpy, Roland. immersive. We'll get to the city soon. I am not... Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. Mm, you're doing the right thing. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some <clears throat> goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see! Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Are you always this selfish? You're as bad as Leah. And I think one of her is quite enough in my life. Good day to you. Those goblins will rue the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Tell them. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards! Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Hmm. Stop thinking about Delicious Dwarf and take the bowl. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Ah. I'm inspired. Subdue thine appetites. One inspiration. How long until Ronan shows off his thunder wave? Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes... You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. <laughs> Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Uh, there's no need. I'm fine. Let her fuss. Aha! Uh -huh. You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Thanks, Grandma. Drink the potion. Might this concoction also help with something more serious? Uh, what is this, exactly? Oh, it is just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. But are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Hmm. I've been better. It's difficult to explain. I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Tell her. But if she pulls out a pot of oil, run. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Um... <clears throat> there's something awful about my instincts, about my desires. I've got a mind flyer, mind flayer parasite in my head. As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I smell a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. Okay, such as? 
I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. <clears throat> now, do you need anything? Auntie Ethel. I have a few odds and ends You're being sale. very sweet. I'm going to be so sad if we go there and it's a trap. Honestly, sweetheart. Hey, bother. What do you got? Uh, a pig's head for camp supplies. Lovely. I'm good for now. I just wanted to see what you had. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, pig. I don't know. Sinister undertone. Sinister undertone there. Am I paranoid? I'd die if I met the rogue and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Uh, Forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more... eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Right. I will take me to what I wouldn't do for best tools. Let's continue. Mm. Don't be grumpy, Rhoda. Someone up there. Get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. Nice. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Uh, don't mind me, just passing through. No bother. We're just daydreaming anyhow. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? I want a new life. I'm worried the Baldurians are going to rob me for all I'm worth. I'm quite clueless. <laughs> no, you mean there is a high chance I'll start a fire and be sent to jail. How can you make plans? I can't remember what I ate for breakfast. There's a high chance I'll start a fire. Um, yeah. Know what you mean. Do we ever? But I I've heard there's all sorts in the city. It, it might not be like it was in El Torel. I mean, in Baldur's Gate. They give you a chance. Good luck to you. Wish us a little, too. I think we'll all need it. Surely destined for the slaughter. What would be more perfect than to die by your love's side? And no love was not enough. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I'll talk to the guards. Bold These urges. I speak their language. My love, you were a caravan escort for three days, and you quit in the middle of your shift. You sound like mm -hmm. you thought. Mm -hmm. Die if I met the road and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. Who's this? To I want to speak them. to everyone, see how good the writing is. We've known enough grief this ten-day traveller. Don't be the cause of more. Hey, man. Chill. Here we go. It's behind this. Stone door into a secluded chamber. Mm hmm. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Have you spoken to Korga? Oh, um, not yet. Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. Okay, I'll take care of it. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Hey, look at this. Is that a bear statue? It's so cool. Let's build those all over Bear Island, shall we? Good. And when I say we, I mean you. Okay, on the road to deliver this message, I guess, or 
whatever that tiefling was saying. Maybe find the rest of the companions. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. What's up here? Have you wondered what people will say, Will? When they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster. Something's wrong. I've faced countless perils and conquered them all. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows, marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Freeze and hold up your hands. Medicine. Illithid wisdom. Um, I'm a doctor. Gotta roll a ten. Ooh. I love the dice rolling animation, it's so fun. God, I would love to play D&D in real life. He's hurt badly. An owl bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Block him out, hold his stare, move away, reaching for your weapon. Hmm. Hold it. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to Shepard. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will... She... She... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Is it like a cult from people who have that in that what we have in our head? What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. All right, sign me up. Please. Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. Hmm. A crude summary. You have more to learn of our faith, novice. You need to find the beast and avenge your brother. Hmm. I mean, let's play along. It's fine. A crude summary. I'm sorry, true soul. I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the Absolute still has a great deal to teach me. Why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, ma'am, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Hmm. I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found me. You! Brenner! Kill her! Really? <laughs> you just called me a true soul. Uh, whatever. You want to die today? You want to die today? Because it's going to happen. Warlock friend, what do you have? Arms of Hadar. Prevent target from using reactions. Blade ward. Take only half damage from bludgeoning, piercing, slashing attacks. Command a creature to flee, move closer, or drop its. Ah, oh, yeah. Let me try my new command spell. Let my enemies fall. Wait. 
Command Command Grovel. Ah, okay, so I have to I had to click in here. I accidentally used it, but I'll try that next time. That's fun. What's here? All right, you, my love. We'll bless our friend here. Could be about to take a bit of damage. And get in position yourself. Ooh. Commanded to halt. And I shall enter the fray as... <laughs> Take the shape of a cat that can avoid attention and meow to distract enemies with two hit points. Spider. Oof, creepy. I mean, let's try the wolf. I will probably main the bear, but let's explore. God, that's pretty cool. Twilight much? Alright, let's, um... Would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? Because we kind of got both here right now, haven't we? And also, if you were into Twilight or read the books or something, are you Team Edward or Team Jacob? Which are you? Let's try the command. Grovel. Fall prone on its turn. Flee. Drop. Halt. Drop its weapon and do nothing else. Let me try this. It's got 55% defense on it, but... Ah, saved roll. her off. Concussive smash. Okay. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Come on, Asterion. Let's get you in there. Take a short rest and recover half your hit points and some other resources. Inspiration. For who? Ah, for Will. Was it? Oh no. Me. Kill Brynna and Andric, reuniting them with their fallen companion. So pretty much just be a murderer, a serial killer, and get inspiration points. Okay, so I have three of those now. So the next time I fail a roll, I should spend one of my inspiration points, because it said it was a maximum of three, right? All that loot. Thank you very much. And end the wild shape. Do I do that again? Oh, there. Dismiss. Moving ahead. The worst thing about being a werewolf would be how many clothes you would go through. Just forever waking up naked in the woods. And, uh,. needing to buy new clothes. Cave. Oh, wow. Well. Its nest must be oh. nearby. The owl bear. I mean, oh, we do need Hang on, we do need some help. The blade oh. of frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Okay, thank you. We do need a rest. A short rest. Twice a day, restore 50% of hit points. Warlocks restore spell slots. Freshened up. Ah. Ready to fight. Okay. Let's go check out the cave. Alexa, chill. An owlbear nest. I'm guessing a different way that conversation can go is probably that you tell them they need to avenge their brother and then they're like, oh, we can't do it, can you help? And then you're sent into here to kill it. But, um... We'll come in here anyway. Just because. It's a lunar statue in a stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. There's magic keeping hmm. this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Gilded chest. Ah! 
Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, contents easily. Oh. Um. Little What's help. <sighs> Thanks. I've got a long road ahead. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Take care. See, now I emptied my spell slots, didn't I? Okay. So, how would I... Saluna Seal. Scroll of Detect Thoughts. Potion of Healing. Animal Speaking. A book. Read books and notes you've picked up in your inventory. An ancient tome detailing, detailing how Salune came into being alone with her sister, along with her sister Shah. The silver radiant Salune died. Oh, I forget. It's fine. It's too early in the morning. Um, I'll catch a break. There must be a way to like bless this and get inside it. Hmm. Hmm. Never a dull moment. Need to find a way. That stench. Did Albert pray? No doubt. <gasps> there it is. Oh, it's got a little cub. Wait. Talk to animals. Where am I needed? Let's get going. Hang on. Um, talk to animal spell. Animal friendship. Convince a beast not to attack you and Where's the I have talked to animals, don't I? I know the warlock has it, but I don't want to do it. Speak with animals. Instead of... Entangle. Gain the ability to comprehend. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear. Its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Study its behavior, back away, puff out your chest and roar. Animal handling. Oh my god, need a 15? Put a guidance on that. Why is it Will doing it? Oh, let's go. The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance. It's got a baby. And see an owlbear cub. How about your palms? You mean no harm. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now, or step closer, and die. Okay, let's back it up, everyone. Leave them to it. Never wanted the easy path. It's got a baby. Came in here wanting to hunt and get some XP, but can't. Can't do it. Let's leave it to it. Cast upon my hands on everything. The way Astarian runs, just every time he does the little as arms much back. As I hold for Baldur's Gate. These frontiers delight me as much as any bustling street. Vampire run? Cracking me up, dude. Uh, you Let's appear then. This is a howling wasteland. I haven't even had a bar since the abduction. Did you just level up or something? Why are you glowing? I must reek of a little slime. <sighs> sure. But think of the story. Ah, you got guidance still. Tell. Okay. Can't slow down. Okay, so now we're above the cave mouth. And where does this loop around to? Ah, I'm actually going in the right direction. Cool. What's that? Scratch. Let me use uh, talk to animals. Look where you see the Very long. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. What happened? I told, I told you, you to, to go. Perception, pirate collar, intimidation, druid persuasion, calm friend. I mean, you know harm. 
Gonna get a 15, rolling two. Could use a guidance can trip, but should be okay. Maybe? Mm, what's that? Quick maths. Not enough. So you just take the highest. It's not them added together. Please don't hurt the dog. I'll roll again. I got had to use an inspiration anyway. Yeah. I'll use the guidance. 11 plus the 2. Roll the that one. Nice. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. Oh, I don't think he's getting he back up, rest. baby. I don't think he's going to wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. Prove the man is dead. Shout at his corpse. Oh, my God. It makes me want to cry. He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. Come with us, Scratch. We'll take care of you. We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell. It was strange. Goblins. Rotten. Evil. You know the creatures he describes. Gnolls. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Travel with me. No. I won't leave him. You have to. If he doesn't wake up, Follow my scent. I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Yes. Thank you. Oh, why am I crying over a digital dog that is by its master's side? That's actually really sad. Um, you have letters. Are you going to get angry if I take these? Because I don't want to offend you. I really want you to come and be our camp dog, but... Let me save it first so I don't upset you. Perhaps if I read his things. Gonwick, be doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. I've received more reports of attacks on travellers throughout the region. I can't have Best Messenger winding up face down in ditch. General Danzor. Davin, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you get leave. Love, Flora. Nine fingers. I won't come back to the city. Not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want your debt paid, you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where an M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging. You'll find enough valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me. I'll know when I'm safe. So I guess we could go dig that up if we wanted to. I'm going to move letters and books down here because that is something that just would fill my inventory in Divinity. And like old keys and stuff, so you need to like get rid of them. Um, I'll go through this at some point, it's fine. Good boy. And that is why we take Talk With Animals, because let me tell you, in these games it is so worth having it. There's a perk in Divinity, it's not a spell that you take and it just lets you talk to animals. And then... Is like my, my the, well not my favorite, but the, one of the best companions in Divinity is a like um, squirrel that rides a skeleton cat, and it's so worth it's so worth having just to have him on your travels alone. I have a T-shirt with them on, and it's amazing. Wow, that was a little. Is this a little dead end up here? I'm trying to go that way, so maybe it's this way. God, do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when you first play Skyrim and just everywhere you go is a quest. Like, they have just filled this place with amazing missions that you can otherwise miss. What's that? What is that? You discovered that with a dice roll. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Okay, well, what do you expect to do? Would the dog go in there? Ah, oh, was a rocky crevice. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Well, who will? Shadowheart? Are you skinnier than me? I don't think I'll fit through there. Starion? I don't think I'll fit through there. That thing is small. 
and I am lost. I, am I supposed to maybe convince the dog to come with me and then the dog goes in there? What path lies before me? Hmm. Go on. <clears throat> if he doesn't wait, I'll find you. Okay. So I didn't I don't have the option to I shout at training those children. He was so gentle. That's not how I was taught. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned a lesson after all. And came to resent the pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Examine the boar's corpse. Get some good rolls. The boar seems to be fresh. And oh. is it dead enough? I didn't mean to skip that. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. Hmm. You know something about this, don't you? <laughs> Someone's had a little suck. These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? Vampire. I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Mm -hmm. Now please, let's go. Someone had to have a little feed away from the camp. Oh, who's this? Hello? Thought you was busy with the oh, you in Elson's Grove. <sighs> I thought you were busy leading your crew. Not no more. Contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. What was the contract? The kind that leaves half your crew dead. There's a wizard in Boulder's Gate that will pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. True. Let's say I want that gold. Where would I find it? It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Meet my cat. Can show you where we fat turn old back. Chunk. If you feel like dying. Uh I'll take it. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. All right, Sean Bean. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Now you die. We're wasting time. Kidding. Oh, I wanted to speak to your friend there. Mind. Dead goblin. Ah, so look, if I loot a dead adventurer, that is a bad look. But if I loot... Oh, no. There's no one watching now, so I can do what I want. <laughs> Looting everything, that is what we do. Goblin drawing. Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures, a goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf, each of them wearing a simple crown. Uh -huh. Stamped hand, Bill. Adventurers wanted for perilous and profitable quest. Master Larokan the arcanist of Athkatla, the recluse of Aramatzith's tower, seeks brave and enterprising individuals to delve treacherous temples and recover storied artifact, the Night Song. Only stout of heart and keen of mind need apply fame, glory, and incredible fortune assured. All right, where am I? Ah, I'm going up there. Hmm, all right, let me... Wait. That is... 
Well, this felt like a dead end, so maybe this is not the way. Maybe it's this way. Scoop up there to do that mission. I don't really want to abandon the grove just yet. I know this looks like it's kind of a village or something. Before we pick up too many side quests, I'm going to try and not completely go ADHD with how much I pick up. A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. Wow. You must be eager to get back then. Things out in this wilderness. Fishing. Picked up a fishing rod. Can you actually fish? Where is the fishing rod? Can't use this right now. Why not? Why? Why? That's right. But... Why, why? That great uncle's name, my father said. Love the little dialogues. Can I fish? All right, is this dead end? Okay, so we've got to like cross back that way. And go up, I think. Over down there. Ah, oh, little fellowship. That's what I love about these games, when you have a party and companions. Friendship, you know? Comrades together. Look at my cape. It's bloody cool. Oh, entangled in some vines. You're so cool. So, oh, hang on. What's this? Looks a little interesting. This vines here. Everyone's failing the perception check for it, though. Come on, guys. Ah, here you go. What's that? Secrets everywhere. Oh. Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best oh. I need to hold on. Uh. I wonder what the next move is. Help. Let's try back this. up, back up, <laughs> guys. My face protects me. Guys, back, back, back. Okay, I can't heal from here. Oh, character death. A member of your adventuring party has died. Use a scroll of reviver. <sighs> Darling. Oh, that inspired you. Hmm. A guarding ward, a guardian statue, which can't be attacked. Is gonna skin us. No one knows about this damn weapon. Yeah, she'll kill us dead if we go back without. How will I get past it? What now? Can if I ungroup you? I wonder if I can sneak past it. Let's see. You got this, Astarian. You're gonna be fine. Okay. Maybe we can set him on fire. That's worked. Can we all sneak past? Do we all have hide? Unnoticed. Good. Can everyone Defender of the people. Hide with me? All's well. <laughs> Darling. Not as bad as it could have. Hide. Goodness me. Wonder if the gods are watching me. It's got it out for me. 
Well, at least we got the druid to keep ourselves entertained. Disarming traps. It's trapped. Okay. My health's pretty low. Alrighty. Everyone get into position. Ah, Rune of the Eagle. Does this turn that off? Oh, this was more fun when he was screaming. Mm. Yes. Nice. That'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. So they've got a Give prisoner. Him to cry about. There's another rune that down there. We still need rune of the Bear. Where's the bear? Wow, okay, there's some big statues. Ah, oh, look, it's a different way in. Gonna skin us. No one knows about this damn weapon. Okay, using the high ground yeah. from here, we should She'll be good to go. Let's regroup. Okay, we're regrouped. Sneak attack. I don't know if you can get close enough, but... Cool, maybe. <gasps> look how cool you look, Astarian. Pretty stubborn for a man wearing leaves. Maybe we can set him on fire. That was so cool. Hello, friends. Time to move. Nope, we're still hidden. We're not hidden now. Okay. Oh. Oh, they're all ranged. Well, two of them. I have to get down there pretty quickly. Jeez. Let's get it done. Superhero landing. Oh, how cool would it have been if I could have done that and then turned into a bear? You want to poison me, do you? Oh. <clears throat> Don't worry about that. Piercing strike. There's someone unconscious there we're saving. Too much to bear. It hurts. We're taking a lot of damage. Are the others not in combat yet? They're still hidden. Join to the battle. And you, mate. So much for peace. Well, showtime. Oh, I should have turned. If I turn into a badger, I can go. I can be. I can turn into a animal. I forgot. I can go through the little hole that we found by the dog, because I can just turn into an animal. <laughs> Try remembering to go back. Surprise. <laughs> Minus 4 HP when I do the jump, but it's pretty cool. No holding back. Um, <clears throat> let's not use a spell slot. Good job, everyone. doesn't respond to your voice. No. Can we heal him? No time to dally. He's a short rest. Well, some rests better than none. 
Why can't I? Does anyone have a healing spell? At least things have stayed interesting. <clears throat> so what, wait, it's what? Let me rest it. Warlocks restore their spell slots. Okay, so I need a long rest to restore my spell slots. Perhaps I have a scroll that I can use to help them speak with dead scroll. Nice. Detect thoughts. Let me um, organize my scrolls. Does anyone have a scroll of healing? Well, hello. Hello. Still breathing, despite everything. Can I use a health potion on them? His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. Okay. What will he respond to? Can't use the revive scroll. Maybe the read thoughts. Focus your mind to the thoughts of creatures while talking to them. I think I just need to heal them, but I'm out of spell slots. What if we go for a rest and then come back? I think that might do it. I'm so glad I found... Wait! I'm Althira. A bard from the Grove. I don't mean any harm. Mm. Are the tieflings alright? Oh, yes. Everything is fine. Thanks to you. That's why I'm here. When I'd heard what you'd done, it inspired me. Made me feel brave again. I want to join you. To fight by your side. I want to help people. As you've helped us. I haven't done anything yet. I haven't taken the goblins out. Um, are you sure? I lead a dangerous life. I've been running since El Terrell. And when we finally arrived at the Grove, we found danger there too. Unless I hide away from the world, I can't avoid it. So I'd rather face it head on. With you. She sounds like, um, Amelia Clark. Okay, sure. Really? Just like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Ease your worries. Warm your hands. We owe you that much. I won't let you down. I promise. Do you just live in camp with us now? I can't wait to hit the road. Where will we go? Neverwinter? Oh, can we go to Waterdeep? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take it one note at a time, as my teacher would say. Hmm. Best be on my way. A new companion, perhaps. I want to have a word. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hells? Carlax fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the archdevils, Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach. Even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking. The damage she might be doing. Huh. <sighs> Who is the source? A powerful friend with a keen interest in... ...privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Let's move on. All right. What else is on your mind? I've noticed your stone eye. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone. Carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. 
Hmm. By all means. What else is on your mind? What is on my mind? How did you come to be a Blade of Frontier? I don't suppose you've come across an expert healer in your travels. I've got no memory of my past. Get the parasite. I've done that. I've got a bloodthirst. An urge to destroy. Maim. Kill. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by Alithids. Suffered insertion of a mind-bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one. If it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. <laughs> that face says, mm, it's the blood of the innocent. Any healers in your travels? <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. Okay. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. Yeah, we do need we to should pay her a visit. Deliver this message, and then we'll go back to the grove, honestly. We'll save your stories for another time. Am I supposed to just... We should probably hit the hay. Although I don't think... Hmm, are you, like, going to do something in the night? Are you actually not a companion? Is that what's happening? Alright, let's talk to everyone, because companion points and friendship. Friendship is the answer. So, we're travelling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Okay. Nothing for you. Where's Shadowheart? Up here. That's what I get. The fact that you can make your cat like we're inside a cave whilst we made our camp and it looks like we're in the spot where we were is just so cool. Something the matter. Like instead of being in the woods suddenly, we're in the cave, you know. Fine. What's on your mind? Okay, same as before. Alright, sleep time. Let's go to bed and use all the supplies. You open your eyes with a lurch. <gasps> and you are not in your bed. What did you do? You oh. stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. Oh no. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. <sighs> her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. I'm a murderer. Okay. Intelligence roll. Investigation roll. Try to remember. Ah, oh, but the minus one from intelligence. Ah. Oh. That's annoying. I want to remember. I think I roll again. He's a cantrip. Come on! Ugh. The throbbing in your skull will hardly let you think, let alone remember. Investigate. Wasn't sure if I was going to get another roll. Well, that's a bit easier. Come on, surely. nothing else here and no one else around you and the corpse seem to have been alone together for quite some time no matter how it appears the body is there and her blood is on your hands the question flows through your mind who are you really that you could be guilty of such bitter business it's fitting that I'm a druid because I feel like it's werewolfy vibes, like I'm waking up in the night and killing things. Wonder what curse is in your heart to kill in your sleep. Push the thoughts away. 
Refuse to believe this was your doing. Admire this beautiful death. Connect to your parasite. Is it responsible? Oh, I almost want to just play into it, honestly, and admire it. Or wonder to think to maybe get some answers. Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must oh. have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh, where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Seek out the nearest water, wash the blood away, stealth, try and hide the body, prepare to face the others, you aren't going to hide, go back to sleep. Oh, what do we do? I almost want to just be completely honest with them, then hide it. Like, just be the real you. Some way you can be the real you, maybe, with these people. Like, some of them will disapprove. Um, others might understand. I feel like Shadowheart's pretty understanding. Astarion will probably be turned on. Um, <clears throat> let's face it. Your misdeed is bright and clear as the dawning day. No hiding. She deserves that. You know, the girl. Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. The dog. You cried out. I hope you can explain yourself. Now, I can't help but notice that one of us is positively drenched in blood. So? She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. <clears throat> was it you? Now, I know that looks bad, but <laughs> I did. Must have been a feral animal. I think I killed her. The blood speaks for itself. Why? Will disapproves, Astarian approves. I can't remember. Rubbish! I can't remember half my life and you don't see me randomly gutting people. What's really going on? Tell of your amnesia. Different from my own. The work of the tadpole, perhaps. So, where does this leave us? Mm. It's hard to trust someone who blacks out and stabs you to death. <clears throat> If you want to leave, I understand. And turn you loose on an unsuspecting world? No. I'm not that callous. We stay together for now. Even if it was the worm, this was peculiar indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air as the Inquisition departs. You are left alone with a familiar headache. Morn. You wished to journey beside Alfira. I did. Vow, gain control, save the next innocent. Breathe deeply. You must uncover the cause of your mad spree, lest it happen again. Giggle. The only joy greater than murder is to get away with it. Grind your jaw. That was close. You'll hide your crime more carefully next time. So you really can embrace, like you can just straight up be a serial killer if you want. <laughs> I think I like the idea of her wrestling with it for now. And we'll see where the story goes. Um, I think we mourn. It's the new. It's the new. I'm. I'm neither embracing it or vowing to like deal with it. So we'll just. We'll mourn. One more failed adventurer, gone to the mud now. Not much of a mourning. Inspired, snipping the cords. Kill Alfira in cold blood. Hi, dog. Ah, I gotta cast my spell, I guess. Hang on. Um, 
Nope, not wild shape. Speak with animals. I, if I could have any spell, I mean, come on. Hope you're keeping well, friend. <sighs> Sorry about what happened to your master. Master, friend. I stayed with him until, until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. All right. Well, welcome to camp, buddy. There's some uh, fresh meat on the floor. Who's a good boy? Now we got a dog in camp. That's nice. <sighs> Thought we'd had a uh, a new friend. I guess not. Alfira wouldn't have harmed a housefly. A gentle young soul <coughs> slain in her prime. Don't rub it in, Will. Whoever the culprit, let it be known. It's me. I will not stand for more innocent blood being shed in our camp. My guy, I just admitted it. <laughs> Maybe I should have giggled. Look at his bowl, and there's all blood under Just it. Just so you know, I don't judge you for what happened to that bard, Elfira. But the look of guilt on your face was priceless. I didn't do it. I feel horrible about it. I'm glad you had fun watching me sweat. I don't care, really. But you could have been more subtle about it. I'm just being honest. It's right for my companions to know what they're sleeping next to. I would never be that person to hide a zombie bite or something. It's just going to tell people what's happening. I thought this camp was supposed to be our safe haven. Not quite so when we wake up to dead tiefling bards. So it seems like it hasn't quite taken into account that we admitted it. It's kind of a bit more sort of neutral there. And I can still like, I can say I wasn't responsible. You know, I can deny it here, but I've already admitted it. So, um, all right, back on the road. It's on with the adventure. Here goes nothing. Leave camp. That should take us back to where we were. And then I'm going to try and use healing word on you. I'm going to save it, actually. Six hours in. Most of that was in character created, to be honest. Take you. Knew that would be what it was. Uh, hey, where are you running? Thank you, thank you. I thought I was going to die down here. How did those goblins slip into the grove? It's my fault. I thought I'd given them the slip, but they followed me through the tunnel back there. I must tell the others what happened. I stepped careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. Folk hero, Will is inspired. Should probably turn that bear off. Hmm. Interesting. The wolf still glows, and there is a rune of the wolf there. How do we get across? Can't get here. Maybe someone can jump and be sneaky. Leveled up to. Jump. Hide. Hi, Asterion. Step quick. You gotta turn the button, dude. Go. Go! Oh my gosh. Now they're like glowing. Two of them are glowing. Key. I did two of them glow after being turned off? I wonder if you have to do it all at the same time or something. <sighs> Got it. Is 
that blood? No, never mind. Okay, maybe that's for the chest up here. The key. After this arm. Aha, so it was with that key. Gold, 27, and Nature's Snare. Is that a quarter staff? It is. Bludgeoning. It's the same as what I have, but it also has Fly Trap. Chance to ensnare target if it's not a plant or a beast. So it's a new quarter staff for me. Nice. Is there anything else in here? What's inside? Oh, a stone door. Does this lead into the grove? Enclave library. Poison cloud and traps. Through a vent. What else is in here? Can we step through? How would I dispel what is here? I can't get to the vent, right? Can I thunder wave away the gas? probably need a wizard at some point because there's a lot of interaction with environmental stuff in these games like you make it rain and then like ice spells to freeze that water and you can kind of like dispel clouds of gas and things with certain spells but I'm not the sure of the gate. what we have at the moment amongst us to do that not too much like that's just gonna Oh, you can hit it here. 30. You need to hit 30. To disarm the vent. Can we just Let's move. sneak through? I if the gods are watching me. Just avoid the gas. Something over there. Something over where? Blow out the candle. Something over where? Hmm. How do we get in? Perhaps you don't know yet. Mysteries. Let's go out this way and see where it comes out. Grove. Where does this lead? You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you. Ah, okay. So <clears throat> this would be the way back up, or we are in the grove. What is this jumping? Poison mushroom. Well, that's, that's what it does. Bunch of mushroom mines. Oh my god. 
to a broken door. So what, that's how they, uh... Ah, I think probably there's a... If you end up doing something in the grove, you probably end up in prison here. And this is your way of breaking out, I think. But, um... Hello? What's up for discussion? Arca, wait! You can't just shoot her! Why not? That's what her kind did to Cannon. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Shut up. Step between the crossbow and the goblin. This is wrong. Stand back and admire the guards' overflowing hate. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her too? You! Move! Lower the crossbow. No, shoot me. Should be easy, right? Persuasion. Detect thoughts. I need to be more intelligent. I don't know if I get to, like, boost stats at all. Or if I get, like, a ring or something that does. I don't know if I get to, like, put points into stuff, but... Cannon would hate me for this. That minus one but is... But he's not here. Killing me. They took him from me. What would Cannon think of you now? Don't you dare! Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? I don't. Goblin prisoner, her life isn't yours to take. If she dies, she takes everything she knows to the grave. If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Will disapproves. You're Me and Will are not getting along. Every last one of you. Hey guys, sorry, I kind of teleported out there with that conversation. Enjoy being in prison, I guess. Don't give me trouble, man. I can't pick the lock. Can you? <laughs> Please. Oh, you! Thieves are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Oh, nice. Crit success, baby. Good job, Astarian. No time to rest. On my way. Come on, gang. Everyone group. You're free. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your birdies. And your dogs. What did you say about dogs? And birds? Huh? Ain't sure why you're protecting me. <laughs> Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Hmm. They just saved your life. Show some gratitude. They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me and priestess guards still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty Booyog. A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? Oh, interesting. Maybe there's going to be multiple ways to go about this, like siding with the goblins so the goblin healer helps you with her potions, or maybe getting rid of the goblins and then someone in the grove helps you. I'd like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Hmm. You already told me what I need to know. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, 
And I'll tell him what a good friend you are. Alright. It's only one goblin. No, on the face of things, and maybe when I find your camp, I'll kill you anyway. Then hurry up and do it. My tribe ain't as friendly as I am. Hmm. Let me out, you bunch of softies. Got any more lock picks? Should be easy. Let's go again, Astarian. Oh. <laughs> Good thing you got some bonuses there, friend. You're gonna be sorry! Every last one of ya! And out you come. And well, Bloody teeth everywhere. Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. <sighs> Let's do it. Happily, lead the way. I need to like <laughs> I need to leave Will back at camp. He is not happy with anything I'm doing. At all. Oh Um You alright there, mate? Will fell to their death. Dead. <laughs> oh, uh Well, Take care of oh, this isn't good. No, it's no, it's not, darling. Take care of look right, ahead. look out for those mushrooms, okay? I really think it's best we go this way and avoid going through the grove with a goblin prisoner that we just let out. Will, what are you doing? Where am I needed? Keep in pace. With us, bud. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Come on, everyone. Um, let's level up as well. I was leaving that there for a minute, but. Slots unlocked. The pride of the gate. Level up for you. Choice is pending. Gained a spell. Hmm. Blindness. Level 2 necromancy. Cloud of Daggers, Crown of Madness, and still madness in a humanoid enemy. Enthrall. Hold a humanoid enemy still. Invisibility. Misty Step. Scorching Ray. Hmm. Damage all nearby creatures and objects. Creatures made of inorganic materials such as stone have disadvantage on their saving throw. Hard to know what to do with them. Let's go with Cloud of Daggers. Offensive warlock type. Yes. Um... I do like the idea of Crown of Madness, though. He seems to be, like, in control of people. Maybe I build you in that... Do you know what? I changed my mind. Okay. I'm gonna do Pat Crown of Madness. Alright, so your patron bestows a gift upon you for loyal service. Gain the service of a familiar, a fey spirit that takes the form of your choosing. An animal, an imp, or a closet. Pact of the Blade. Summon a packed weapon. 
or bind one you're wielding, making it magical. Yawn. Pact of the Tome, a grimoire, the Book of Shadows, allowing you to cast Guidance, Vicious Mockery, and Thorn Whip. Um, definitely a creature. <gasps> I have to pick what they look like. Uh, an animal form of your choosing. An imp that can fly, turn invisible, and sting enemies. Or a quasit that can turn invisible and square enemy scare enemies. Uh, I need to look at pictures of what these... I need to see what these look like before I select this. Like, I can't. Okay, I couldn't find pictures, but I want to try to avoid spoilers at the same time. I think I'm going to go Imp. Because that sounds cute, and its little picture looks cute. The closet looks kind of wild. I did see a little video thumbnail of a closet. Um, it'd be cool to have animals, but I'm the druid. Imp. Imp it up. Oh, wait. <gasps> I get all three! I'm an idiot. I thought I was choosing. I just unlock that ability, and then I can summon all three. I'm, s I'm sorry. There we go. Nice. Summon a familiar. Oh, I love that. You just became a million times more interesting, Will. A raven, a spider, a rat, a frog, a crab, a cat, the quasit, or the imp. I want to see the imp. Ow. You, uh... are <laughs> like one of those. Hello. Uh, it was not what I was expecting. I should have remembered that you were what the imps looked like at the beginning. I don't know, I thought you'd be like a cute little green thing, maybe? Like a goblin, but cute? No? Um. Alright. Onward. Can't give up now. <laughs> this, Time to press ahead. this gang right now. With the little goblin that we're helping escape and an imp. Hello! Flying around. Ridiculous. Alright. Let's, um... Get out of here. All of these traps should be off just fine. Good thing it was all three. I think if I had picked imp and then realised it was one of those, I might have been a bit disappointed. I don't know how much I'm going to use Will anyway, because he is literally judging every decision I make. I need my, I need my companions to be friends, but I haven't found that uh, orc yet. Or the wizard. I know they're around there somewhere, but I keep getting distracted. Um, good to be free again, she says. You made a promise. Never break a promise unless there's something in it for me. I'll introduce you to my whole tribe and put in a good word for you. See you at camp. Okay, and off she goes. I mean, I was going to wipe that All camp right. out, but I suppose I still could. It's just be in a better position to do it, wouldn't I? Have you told me where your camp is? Ah, there it is, the goblin camp. Find the night song, find the goblin priestess. Get help from Auntie Ethel at her home. We have a lot to do still. And the Blade of Frontiers hunt down Karlak. Where was that guy's message that he wanted me to deliver then? For the Grove. Speak with Kaga, leader of the Druids. Ordered the Tieflings to leave the Grove. Several fears they won't survive the road and asked us to intervene. Oh, it's in the Grove. The message that I was delivering. Okay. Let's continue with this then. I just went on this whole other adventure for uh, something that was right here, but that's the beauty of these games. Open up. You're just over here somewhere, are you? Whoa. I had 
even seen all this. And a lot of the vibes, honestly. I don't think I could ever side with goblins over this place if it came to it. Still alive, so that's progress. I'd swear the ox's gaze is following me. The ox. Look at the city. Huh? You're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. Something strange about this ox. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. There's more to you than meets the eye. No. You are incapable. Persuasion. Come on, old chap. I'm a devil for gossip. Out with it, cow, or you're going to regret it. Fine. I heard the tieflings are going to butcher one of you for food. Intimidation, I have uh, more bonuses. Out with it, cow. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, move. Tell me your secrets. Talk. Funny. Move. <sighs> he stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Turn around and see what he's looking at. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's <gasps> no trace of the child. Batman. Gloves there. Ha, ha, ha. Another disarming kit. Don't mind if I do. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Take the ring. Call it. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? Uh. One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Tails. We got tails! There. Happy? I am indeed. I've got a free ring. <laughs> Take your ring back. I want to see your wares. Flip the coin again, child. Really? I mean... Fine. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is! There. Happy? All right. Let me see. You got it. One sec. That's what I got. <sighs> Failed perception. Again. Be more perceptive, me. My inventory is nearly full. I have to go through it at some point. Rings of infinite wishes. What's she want for that? Fine. Blue dye, thieves' tools. God, they're expensive, aren't they? I'll take your rings, child. It was impressive enough. Goblin bow in exchange. How about that? Have fun. 
is a long sword. There you go. I'll give you a little extra. You bought some. You suddenly oh. feel something moving against your back and turn. Pickpockets. Pickpocket. Pickpocket. Um. Observe her silently. Maybe they're crocodile tears. Read thoughts. You see her hand in your bags and the shame in her heart. Hmm. You don't have what it takes to be a villain. Kill while you smile. Steal like you breathe. Something tells me the thieving life isn't for you. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. That's cute. Well, well, well. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or? Your partner is a thief. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. <sighs> You could at least pretend to be sorry. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. <laughs> Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around here. I bought your well, rings to be nice. Finger. Make room for the chumps. What? Think you could stand back a ways, pal? I'm fishing for chumps here. Uh, respect the hustle, I guess. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Look, what happened to Alfira? I wasn't responsible, okay? So, you're not in full control of your faculties. If you think it might happen again, warn me. I would hate to have to kill you. Okay. Alright, gang. Let's go down here. Let's see what's occurring. Please, let us through. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! The Ugh. druids, my Let people. Maybe I can right, rationalize Rashever, with I'll them. Rip your damn throat out. <gasps> well, let me handle this. But first, let me level up my team. Close. Never know what's going to happen down there. Okay. Subclass. Arcane Trickster. Rogues with clever touch of magic, using illusions and enchantments to keep their opponents on the back foot. An assassin. You prefer to deal sublime, sublime punishment to a single foe at a time. Not in a duel mind, because a duel implies chivalry and you're too busy getting the job done. You get Ambush, Alacrity, Initiative. The Trickster gets Cantrips, Spells, mm. or a Thief. Use their skill in Stealth and Larceny to acquire whatever they wish, whether from a third story window or from the depths of long forgotten ruins. Fast Hands, an additional bonus action. Second story work, Master the Art of Falling. I feel like an Arcane Trickster would suit a literal vampire, you know? Um, so you get a couple of cantrips. Friends, gain advantage on charisma checks. I'm doing all the talking anyway, and I'm charismatic. That's fine. Minor illusion. Create an illusion that compels nearby creatures to investigate. That feels like a vampy power. I kind of want to build stuff in terms of, like, what feels right for the character rather than, like, min-maxing all my powers and stuff. Um, gain advantage on your next attack roll. Acid Splash, I have Bone Chill. Prevent the target from healing until next turn. Poison Spray. Oh no, Poison Spray is what I have. Ray of Frost. Shocking Grasp. So that's electric. Hmm. Dancing Lights to Illuminate. Sort of like a environmental use rather than combat. 
Infuse an object with an aura of light. Lasts until long rest. Oh, I feel like that an illusion, maybe? I know it's not super exciting for combat, but I really feel like, you know, you're going to be in my party, and I feel like something like that could be useful. I don't think anyone has light yet. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but maybe change things around. Spells. Blind creatures with a color spray. That sounds fun. Disguise self would be useful for a vampire. Hideous laughter. Leave a creature prone with laughter. That sounds very you, Asterion, let's be honest. And put a creature into a magical slumber. For two turns. Like, just sneaking around being like, sleep. Charm prevents them from attacking you. It's not so in Divinity Charm, they actually, like, become yours for a few turns. And you can move them around and stuff. I feel like Color Spray or Sleep. We'll probably unlock another one later anyway. Um, blind. Blind creatures in a radius. Five meter radius. He could like sneak in and be like, Color Spray. Or we can sleep someone for two turns. Let's do Color Spray because it sounds cute. Um, add a wizard spell of your choice to your spell casting repertoire. Right. Chromatic Orb, Expeditious Retreat, False Life. What should we have? Magic Missile could be useful. You would already have the Flame, though. Ice Knife I have. Grease, cover the ground in Grease. Fog Cloud, Conjuring, Ray of Sickness. Shield, Sleep. Oh, I could take Sleep now here, couldn't I? There we go. You're a little sneaky rogue boy. Sleeping and charming and all the other stuff. I like that. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Shadow heart, my love. Let's see what we have. Level up. Prepare spells. Um I'm happy with your spells for now. I shall Leave it be. Heal your allies. Increase their hit points by five points with aid. Lesser restoration. Cure a creature from disease poison. That could be useful. At some point, I will really sit down with these and build them out on a next level up. But happy with how you are for now, I think. I don't want to get too into the nitty gritty whilst I'm recording. Right. What let's to do? finish this first sort of main point here. Story beat. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! Sounds exactly what you, my subscriber sound used to be, that bear roar. I feel like it's the same thing. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins. I go where I please. What's so special down here? Druid. I'm a druid, same as yourself. Allow me to pass and pay my respects. Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. Entry is forbidden. Okay. A moment, Giona. Where can what? I get a cool hat like yours? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. I will. The sacred pool. Giona! Ah, my good friend! You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Okay. Glory. Now then. How would you describe <sighs> that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Ah, give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? There wasn't any dragon. 
witnesses failed to notice the obvious drag on. Hmm. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Sure. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, McGlubbyet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. Yeah, McGlubbyet, McGlubbyet. The scandal. Goblin superstition. Hold your tongue. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. I a dragon. You You're not wrong. Pardon me, I must prepare to travel. Good to the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolutely It's interesting you sometimes only get one choice when it doesn't seem obvious what, it's, what it is. Okay, now I can't tell him to be careful, but, you know. They're doing some kind of ritual here. Okay. Where is the person I'm supposed to speak to? Speak. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Druid. Come now. Surely a fellow druid is entitled to know. I... Forgive me. My love for my brethren is strong. But trust... It is... Delicate. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid and she Korga. offers a simple solution. Spelt like Eject the refugees and we will be safe. She's wrong? Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Hmm. I hear the ritual can help protect the grove. Are you helping prepare it? I would prefer not to. But if Master Hulsin does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. Okay. A sleeping bear? Oh my god. Is it a druid that's sleeping as a bear or an actual bear? I'm... move just a little bit so I can use the elevator. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's one of you. Where does the elevator go? Up here? So it's like a shortcut to places? Right, but I need to speak to Korga. Where is she? There's also a bear here to speak to. Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Hmm. Come on. <clears throat> All the druids can understand me. You can. Why can't the man with the pen? I traveled a long way. The man nods thoughtfully <laughs> and adds another dismembered limb to his skin. Come on. I. The man. I love that. Korga, where are you? I literally like, shouldn't you just be somewhere obvious? Okay, you're over there. In here. Let's see what this does. Pig. 
I thought you were housing. The ball prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your senses, Cor? Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked their poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Hmm. Thief poison, what's the girl's crime? Imprison her, she's a child, do nothing. One of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. Druid, to reject the helpless is to reject Sylvanus himself. The tree father's words. Your circle taught well. You know then that Sylvanus spoke further. The parasite must be removed for new seed to grow. Yet behold, the parasite lives. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. Mean. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Flick your eyes to the exit so the child tries to run. Oh my god. Your mind wants the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. Druid, the girl is no threat. Jailing her disrupts nature's balance. Release her, I'll see she stays out of trouble. Um, set her free. Read Kaga's mind. Tell the snake to put Kaga at ease. The girl belongs with her own brood. Korga, sorry. Tell the snake to put Korga at ease. The girl belongs with her brood. Is that that means like to like the snake's in control here? I think. Read Korga's mind. Thirteen. Come on. Nice. Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Alright. Ease Korga. The girl belongs with her brood. A new hatchling? Yes. They can be foolish. Korga sine. Wukskyafula wurfanor. Sif Sif. It is as you say, Tina. Come to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. What happened? Master Halsin... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Teela pierce it. Hmm. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Hmm. And if I hadn't? Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Hmm. I'm looking for Nettie, by the way. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Okay. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin called, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. I feel like we're going to be rescuing this Halsin. Right is finished. So many more sent into a world gone mad. I can do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. 
I'll find him. But I'd like a more solid offer than anything. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Halston is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Got it. Speak to the wolf. Wait, what's up? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. I am. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How much does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. Alright. Tell me about your fear of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbour. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Hmm. I'll try to avoid wolves in the future where possible. Everyone's got their own fears. I won't judge yours. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. It's been said. Mm -hmm. There's so many animals to talk to around here. You see a sharp intelligence behind its eyes. Is it a familiar or another druid enjoying their wild shape? Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. <sighs> You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required, or only a monster would threaten a child. I feel like if you're threatening children, you are lost. I know your kind from other circles. You see only villains and victims. Not the case, but don't involve children. A viper her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Hmm. Is this right, Druidic? I've never witnessed such magic. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. Past teachings come into focus. The right of thorns is a rare practice, outlawed in most circles, for causing more harm than it eases. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Hmm. I came on Zevlor's behalf. His people could perish if he forced them out. And mine perish if he stays. Why? You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. Okay. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. So we're being presented with some options here. We, it seems like we could just kill her and take the grove back. It is just a combat option. We could go and offer to guide Zevlor out and see where that ends up. We can also find the first druid 
save him and have him come back and cast her out. Um, that's probably the way I'm leading towards. But I'd best speak to Zevor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed and the grove forever shrouded. Hmm. You consider the right of thorns. A rare art plucked from illicit domains. Think back to your teachings. Lament Korga's anger. Free your mind. The nature of Korga's magic is not yours to question. Ponder her passion. You heard truth in her words. Lament her anger. She treads a dangerous path. What are the rites perils, though? When the prayer ends, vines curl upwards from the earth and thorns sprout forth. Those within are isolated and those without rejected. Isolation breeds violence. Few circles survive it. There is more to Korga's tale. The Grove must hide her secrets. Hmm. Interesting. And there is the first part of the Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do remember to hit like and maybe leave a comment. Let me know that you want to see more. It really does help encourage me to focus on this. So if you want this playthrough to continue, then let me know that you enjoyed it. I would appreciate that a lot. Um, I will see you in the next part. I would think there would definitely be another part of this at least. Uh, unless this does absolutely horribly. We shall see. It's something a little different for me. So I'm curious to see how it goes and how you guys like it. But I hope that you do. There are some other videos on the screen if you need even more content for you right now. I've got a lot, so I will see you on the other side. Until next time, good night.